Hey, what's up, David? This is Devin Norton. Uh, thank you so much for talking to me earlier today, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm going to briefly show you three easy ways to improve your website and bring in more customers. You're probably wondering why I'm even making this video for you, and it's simple. There's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all their time running their business, taking care of their customers. They don't really have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. And the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they don't know who is an expert and who's not. So I found that when I make these attack plans and just give them away for free, a lot of business owners still end up calling me back going, you know what, Devin, I like you, just take care of all this for me. <coughs> Excuse me. So by the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks in my sleeve and I can help you out with this stuff. Give me a call, we can chat. If you want to take this information and apply it yourself, that's okay too. This is free education, no strings attached. Just please give me some feedback, let me know if you thought this was valuable. Now, uh, really briefly, I'm going to show you how to make your website more of an authority, how to make your website more trustworthy, and then how to get yourself ranked in the local map pack rankings. So let's start by looking at your website. Um, I have your Facebook pulled up here because something is wrong with your website. I don't know what happened. It looks like you've gotten hacked. Um, I mean, unless you meant to put all this up, but I can show you too. And yeah, it says it's not secure, so you probably got hacked this way. Um, I can, if you do decide to do a website with me, I can make your website, you know, trustworthy. I can make your website secure, so there's no way that can happen. But I'm gonna go off your Facebook. First off, I do like <clears throat> that you have a lot of photos here. You got a couple photos showing up. It shows that obviously, you know, um, well, shoot. I guess you got three photos. It's good that you have some photos. <laughs> um, we're, as humans, we're visual creatures, and you want to have some sort of photos to make sure that you're bringing people in. But the big thing you want to look forward to is you want to make sure that you have more content than your competitors because what Google does is it takes your website, it breaks it down into a text file, and then it uses robots to scan through it to determine what keywords to rank you for, which are phrases that people search into Google. For example, Plumbers Amarillo, Texas, TX, people search us 300 times alone a month, and there's a bunch of different variations. So you want to make sure you have like 1,500 to 2,000 words on your front page, and you want to be targeting keywords like that. If you look at your main competitor, you got prattplumbing.net, as you see these guys right here they've got quite a bit of content on their page you can see that but they're not at that 1500 word mark so you're gonna blow them out of the water by getting 1500 to 2000 words so that's my first tip for you uh, my next tip is to make sure that your website's more trustworthy because Google's like a popularity contest and then look at how many other websites are linking to your website driving traffic to your website but not all links are created equal you get a lot more power from other plumbing and HVAC companies linking to you than you would from like Pizza Hut linking to you so I use a tool to check this out. It's called H, uh, Hrefs. Costs about a thousand bucks a month, but it gives you really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. Again, it's showing you all hacked up up here, but it is your logo or your uh, URL. And it says your URL has been around for a long time since April of 2013, and you're only sitting at six per month. I'm going to show you what you're up against if you do want to beat Pratt Plumbing. These guys have 128 websites a month. Uh, yeah, websites pointing at them. And as you can see, it's bringing them a ton of traffic. So if you guys beat them not only in content, but also in domains and the amount of websites linking to them, that's 2,300 people that are looking at them that'll be looking at you instead. And the best way to do this is just copy them. So go see what links they have and go get them for yourself. You just go to these websites, you contact the owner and say, hey, can I get a link? Sometimes you can make your own uh, account. But the ones that are going to be the best are like home design, plumbers right there. You can see plumbers, stuff like that. And you can do this uh, competitor after competitor. So that's my second tip. My last tip is when somebody does type in plumbers Amarillo and they're ready to buy, they're going to call the first plumber that shows up that seems trustworthy. And you want to be that plumber because those are the easiest customers to close. People skip these ads all the time. It could be from bad experiences or having ad blockers or whatever it may have you. So where you want to rank yourself is in the Google My Business section. Getting here requires having more citations than your competitors, which is anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are listed in different directories across the web, like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, Home Advisor. These are really <coughs> common ones. The best strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in. Go list yourself in those exact same directories, but then add a bunch more on top. So if Frank's is listed in like 150 directories, put yourself in like 250 or if not 300. That's all I've got for you, David. I hope you found this really informative. Just as a quick recap. To beat your competitors with content, or to make your websites more authoritative than your uh, competitors, you have more content than your competitors, and just make sure you're targeting the right keywords. To make your website more trustworthy, you need to add more backlinks. You only have six right now. Your main competitor is 128, so I'd recommend getting about 150. And then before you fix your website, you can work on this. Just go put your name, address, and phone number in more directories than your competitors. Just make sure it's spelled the same way across the entire web, so it's all relevant to each other. <clears throat> so. David, if you want to take this information and apply it yourself, that's okay. This is free education. There's no strings attached. Just please send me back some uh, feedback to let me know if you thought this was valuable information. And if you do want me to help you take care of this stuff, 
Our phone number is right down here at the bottom. It's 214-441-6737. Either way, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.